Welcome back, Weekenders. Today's adventure is a two-part adventure. So the first part is just me. We had to go home, uh, or back to our hometown for something to do with the sister's wedding. So today you just get me. But, if you can't tell by the shirt or my location, today's video is about Indiana Jones. Uh, so, the way this is going to work is I'm here today at Hollywood Studios. I'm going to check out the Stunt Spectacular. I'm going to check out the new Indiana Jones bar. I'm also going to right now take you to see some really cool Indiana Jones merch that they have. Um, some of it new stuff. Um, some of it I really want to buy, but it's really expensive, even with my increased uh, with the AP discount. <laughs> um, but uh, come along, guys. Let's... Going on an adventure. Inside the Keystone Clothiers, they have a whole mess of Indiana Jones. Uh, merchandise here. Obviously, they got you know some kitty setups, some of the old Kenner reaction toys, a whip, a bag, hats. I am tempted by the hat, but that's not the big item. Cups, leather jacket, shirts, Funko Pops, all kinds of other toys. But here's the cool thing: is they actually have some big items from the movies. So there's the Holy Grail, the Voodoo doll, come over here and see the Fertility Idol, the Sinkara Stone, and a staff of raw head piece. Really, really tempted by the Holy Grail, but I think I'm going to pass her today. Heading into the Den of Destiny. Indiana Jones. <coughs> Let's see what we got in here. Right through the door, we've got some actual movie props. Move from from the new movie it looks like. Those are some two costumes as well. Indy and Miriam. I think I'm going to try. Either the leather fedora or the miniature margarita. Alright, I gotta get this one in quick because it's about, about to start raining. And it's gonna be raining for about 40 minutes. So, I decided to try the Avengers margarita. Had cucumber in it. There's a couple other unique ingredients. Let's cheers. I don't know how much you actually taste the cucumber. You can definitely smell. It's a weird thing to say, but you can smell the cucumber as soon as you pick up the cup and start to uh, try to drink it. So, um, but cool, pretty good. Good place to come check out, uh, especially because it's a limited time offering, and they do have the actual screen use props from the new movie. So. Uh, Next step is to hopefully do the stunt spectacular, if the rain doesn't mess that up. And then, I'll let you know what the, ne the next two weeks, we're going to go see the movie and also check out the special video at Jack Lindsay. So, we'll keep this video going. That'll all be part of this same video. So, once we see that, it'll be uh, me and Bree. Hi guys, so I'm sitting here inside the theater for the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular, getting ready for the show to start, um, and I did a little bit of research to find out if this was actually an opening day attraction here at Hollywood Studios. Turns out it wasn't, but none of those are open anymore. Backlot Tour and The Great Movie Ride have closed, I switched into other things. Um, so this is actually the oldest attraction here in Hollywood Studios. 
it opened in August of 89, which is when the park opened. Um, it was followed not long behind that was Star Tours, but this is actually the oldest um, attraction here in this park. So uh, I haven't seen this probably somewhere between 20 and 30 years, but I always loved it. I've always loved Indiana Jones. Um, so I'm ready to see it again and uh, I'll give you guys some thoughts afterwards. So, I only got to see one scene of the Sun Spectacular, um, but it was just as spectacular as I remember as a kid. Just as much fun. Well, I'll tell you though, pro tip that I just learned today. There's thunder and lightning in the area. They can't move the stage. Um, so, they'll do the Mayan temple scene, which I put some clips in from. Uh, but that's pretty much all the show that they can do. Um, still a lot of fun, still really cool. Uh, but. A little bit of a letdown, but at least now you know, thanks to me, <laughs> having to experience it. But guys, uh, that's going to wrap it up for me today. Not for the video, but for me today. Um, I came out here to Hollywood Studios to get these three items. And this is two weeks before, the, I think two weeks before the movie comes out. Um, so we'll pick back up on that day. Where Brie and I are going to go see the movie and also check out all the offerings at Jack Lindsay's. And then you guys will see it early, a uh, few days after the movie comes out. So, um, I'll see, you'll see me in two weeks. Well, it'll be two weeks from today when you see me again. Brie will also be here. Um, but it'll only be a couple seconds for you guys, so. Alright, and we are back for the second day of our Indiana Jones adventure. And I might have seen here with sunglasses, but I'm not alone. I'm back. So we are at Disney Springs right here at the AMC Theaters. Um, we are going to actually see the movie today. So uh, today's agenda is uh, we're going to see Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Yeah. Then we'll come back and give you guys a review of that. And then we're going to go to the permanent and second Indiana Jones theme bar here at Disney World. Uh, we're going to go to, to Jock Lindsay's. They have some specials for this movie. Yes. And then, of course, we're going to hit some of the highlights of the of uh, Jock Lindsay's just in general. So Yeah. We love Jock Lindsay's, so we're super excited to try some of the new menu items. They've got a great menu regardless, but they've got three or four new items for the movie, so... We're excited to check those out. You ready to go see the movie? So ready. We'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so we just finished the movie. Yeah. What were your thoughts? Um, 
classic Indiana Jones. A lot of action, a lot of explosions, just a lot. So I'm, in case you couldn't tell, I'm the bigger Indiana Jones fan. Yes. The movie I grew up watching with my dad and my family, and I loved it. Um, I will set prefaces by saying I'm not as much of a hater of um, King, uh, Kingdom of those Crystal Skulls mm -hmm. as most people. Although it, it's not as good as the first original no. trilogy. Is this as good as the original trilogy? Absolutely not. No. But um, you have to take Indiana Jones for what it is. He's an old man now, well, y'all. Not, not even just that. Like They talk about on the Big Bang Theory how he doesn't really affect the outcome of any of the movies. That's true. That's what this. That's what the movies are. Um, they're just action movies with a lot of action scenes, some fun action moments. Yeah. You know the stunt spectacular that I showed you guys earlier that really captures Indiana Jones. And honestly, this is a great movie. For sure. A couple cameos that was great. Yes. I don't want to spoil. No spoilers. Yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, but I love the ending. It didn't. It did uh, get to me a little bit. Um, so, but overall, it was a great movie. Um, I enjoyed it. Is it a cinematic history? No. no. But it was enjoyable and it was fun and it's what it's supposed to be. And uh, It had that nostalgia, which at the end of the day, that's all you need with yep. these movies. Yep. All right, so off to Jock Lindsay's. Let's go get some food. Like most Disney bars and places, one of the things that's so cool here is all the theming in this bar. There's an outdoor area as well. There's Reggie's cage. You know who Reggie is, leave a comment in the below and let us in but it is completely theme to aviation adventure all that kind of fun stuff okay we got our first item which was the charter flight it was the cool-headed monkey reggie's revenge and the mayor's reserve i think but but yeah we got all three of them we'll give them a try here in just a second all right marie is going to give these a try Start. This is the, very cool. This is the three something monkey, something headed monkey. Sorry, I forgot the name of it already. That's so it's not sweet at all. It's almost a little tart. I have no idea what's in it. You probably should have looked at that. Pull it up on your phone. It's almost like grapefruity. Try sip. Try sip while you're looking at that. Alright, I'm going to squeeze in the clean. Was it on the regular menu? Yeah. It's the cool headed monkey or something like that. Let me see. Go ahead. That's next one is Reggie's Revenge. Okay. I like this one because it's green. So the first one was Star African Rum, Vendier, Hum Mandarine, Tangerine Liquor, Fresh Lime Juice, Watermelon, and Pineapple. Okay. And then you're on Reggie's Revenge, which is Florida Cane Orange, Orlando Orange Vodka. Midori melon liqueur, white cranberry that juice, really good. and fresh lime juice. And then the last one is Woodford Reserve Bourbon, Bowls Blackberry Brandy, Simple Syrup, and Lemon Juice. Blackberry Brandy. Mm, that was strong. Yeah. That middle one's my favorite, for sure. None of them are too sweet, though, which I think is, yeah. if you're looking for a really nice cocktail that's not just going to kill you with sugar, this is a really good flight. A lot of fruity flavors, so if fruity flavors isn't your thing, I'd probably stick to, they've got beer flights, they've got a lot of other things, old fashions. Um, middle one's the sweetest for sure, but I think it's that melon before, that's going to do it every time for you. This one, it's got a little bit of heart, I kind of like it, and that one's just Bourbon. Bourbon forward, for yeah. sure. <laughs> I think all three of them were good. So. Yeah. 
You ready? I want to do. Ready? All right, so we got the bacon for all mankind, which, as you saw, comes in the smoke, and it's got the smoke old-fashioned that comes with it. Is it delicious? It's definitely an old-fashioned. It's a good old-fashioned. I like old-fashioned, not all the time, but I do like this one. It's got a little bit of a smoky flavor on it. Very good. Let's see what the bacon. So you can see the chocolate. And then I guess some kind of caramel or nut on top. What's it taste like? I'm chewing. My mama taught me not to talk with my mouth full. <laughs> it's salty, sweet. Can I get you anything else? Um, Is it dark chocolate, milk chocolate? I think it's milk chocolate. Okay. It's just chocolate covered bacon. It's good, but it's not. I don't know. Chocolate covered bacon is not always my favorite, so. But it's definitely a unique experience. This is really fun. Raleigh was the first location when they opened it. We also got, Bree's already started on it, but the pretzel, what was it called, Bree? It's like a pretzel charcuterie board, so. Yeah. Bree's already tried the pretzel, she's eating some cheese. What are your thoughts? That pretzel is perfect. It's like crispy on the outside. Super, super soft and moist on the inside. This, jar that up and send it home with me because I don't know what they put in that. It's fantastic. It's just a queso though, but it's delicious. So that's the meat. There you go. Focused on it. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we were sitting here finishing our meal and I looked up above our table. I found something very interesting. I believe I spy a Harrison Ford. That is very intriguing because, if you know, Harrison Ford is not big on his image being used. So it's really kind of neat to actually see Indy inside of Jack Lindsay's bar. So I was getting ready to walk out, and a waitress told me to come check out the Lost in Indiana. So, because. There's some things in here from the new movie. Just right off the bat, I see that is the clock that they give Dr. Jones from his retirement. I believe that is the hat that his friend wears. Obviously, one of his jackets there. The playing cards here. That's some of the notebooks. There's actually. So. Really cool. But yeah, there's Indy's retirement clock. Hi right, Weekenders, thank you for joining on this us on this indie rific adventure. What an adventure. Um, like I said earlier and before, I love Indiana Jones. Um, we enjoyed the movie. I love yes. learning some stuff. Remember the cool fact that the oldest attraction I don't think I've actually told you this yet. Oh. The oldest attraction currently at Magic or the Hollywood Studios is the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. There was it's the third so the the park I told them but the park opened with two attractions. This was the third attraction to open and it's the it's the oldest one still uh, still oh, running. Cool. But uh, we loved it. We hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, if you guys like this idea for a video, definitely let us know. Leave a comment below. Um, we picked up something uh, for Friday's video already. So um, we will, and we also hope you guys love the bonus video, so. Yeah, we're doing bonus videos now, guys. So we will see you guys on Friday. Yeah. And then again next week for our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs>
But uh, thanks for coming along for the adventure, guys. Bye. See you next time. Have a good weekend.